Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called The Windows Are Gone, and if you want your windows gone, the links and the details are of course down below in the description as usual, okay? This is going to be a first-person psychological horror about a man riddled with guilt and grief. In his dreams, he sees the image of a house, and no matter what he does, he cannot get the image of this house out of his mind. It's like the house itself is calling to him. So what I'm going to do in this game is I'm going to answer that call, and I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, alright? Here we go. The windows are gone. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. No, in my dreams, I see this house. And there it is. Seems like a nice place. I'm sure it's not going to be, though. I feel it calling for me. Hmm. Ever since the accident. Accident? What accident? What happened? Is that why you're riddled with guilt and grief? Whatever I do, I can't stop thinking about this house in Mariana. Right. So it's a real house? It actually exists? It's not just in your mind, not just in your dreams? So I answered it. Okay. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm getting as above, so below vibes with this shot. Alright, the windows are gone. I've heard good things. Let's see what this is all about. Alright. Uh, hi honey. How are you holding up? You know, taking it one day at a time. How was the funeral? I wish I could have been there for you. I didn't go. Couldn't do it. I understand. She would have understood too. You know that, right? Right. And what about your new house? It's in Mariana, right? Quite a long way from home. Yeah. I'm on my way there right now, actually. I'll text you once I get there. All right, be careful on the road. Love you. Right. So, did I lose my wife or girlfriend? Here we are, though. So yeah, it actually exists, and not only that, we're, we're moving in. All right. Oh, I see. Okay, so we can go through all the texts, and can I reply? Hey, I just arrived at the house. I'll move the boxes inside, and we'll text you later. Okay, it looks like there's a map as well. Oh, nice, okay. Seems like a pretty big place, it's got a basement. Oh, and there's the other floor. Cool. Hold on though. Mum says, thanks for letting me know. Careful not to hurt your back with the boxes. And it seems I can't reply. Okay. So here we are. What we got then? Ten or so boxes, right, okay. Upstairs master bedrooms written on that one. Living room. Right, oh, okay, so we use the, the mouse wheel to uh, inspect or grab. Okay, first things first, I think what we should do is go inside and have a little look around, don't you? Let's see. Why do I keep seeing this house? Why did it obsess me so much that I actually went and bought it? Alright. Let's see. You know something here? A VHS tape labelled... Tape one, my family. I could probably take this to a VHS player and play it. Okay. Should I? There's a TV over here. Is that a VCR? Right, okay. It seems like this is powered up, shall we? Maybe I can find out about the place. There we go. Okay, so as the tape starts playing, I see a middle-aged man handling the camera. 
I quickly realize that the man is in the same house that I'm in. He's all smiles as he moves away from the camera and joins his family, as they can be seen playing around in the backyard. I wonder if they're the previous owners of the house. His wife and children seem to be having a great time, laughing and running around. There's a moment where the wife comes up from behind the husband and puts her arms around him. They both smile and briefly look at the camera. It's nice, really. I can't help but feel like there's something off, though. It's like there's an underlying tension. A sense of unease that's hard to describe. Maybe it's just me, but I get the feeling that things aren't as perfect as they seem on the surface. It feels like the happiness portrayed here is a deceptive lure tempting me to bite it and overwhelm me with its actual intentions. It's written on the man's face. It's like he's trying to hide something behind his smile. The tape ends when one of the kids trips and falls to the ground. While the mother tends to the crying boy, the father's disingenuous smile finally fades away as he approaches the camera to turn it off. Once he's right in front of the frame, though, I get an eerie feeling of intrusiveness, as if he caught me prying in on his personal life. And the tape ends. It's a strange feeling, watching these recordings of someone else's life. I can't help but wonder what happened to them, where they are now. Did they move away a long time ago? Are they still together? It's like I'm peeking into a world that's not mine. A world that's both familiar and foreign at the same time. And that was that. Okay. And that was tape one. So I guess there's going to be more. But, uh, right, let's see. Oh, ooh. okay. Everything good? Uh, yeah, all good. Found this weird VHS tape. I think it's from the old owners of this house. Let's have a look at the map. Okay. So, we're in the living room, there's the downstairs bathroom, kitchen, there's the hallway, downstairs office. Right. Did you watch it? What's in it? <laughs> I was expect- Hello? <laughs> Anyone here? I was expecting you to lecture me. Not to do that. But yes, I did. Saw some weird stuff. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is that it? I guess that's it. All right, well, let's see. So this is going to be the downstairs bathroom. All right. So, oh, okay. A ready to use medicine cabinet, I suppose. A walk-in shower, not bad, not bad. Don't know if I like the, oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't know if I like the color of the toilet, but I like the interactivity. Hell yeah. Can't use the bidet though. <laughs> let's see. So we got the kitchen round here. Wait, where does this go? Oh, the back garden. Okay. Pretty sizable. It looks like we're uh, up against the forest as well. Nice. Very nice. All right. Well, let's close this up and let's see what's what around the rest of the place. Okay. So, what are we going here? Oh. Ah, oh, access to the basement, right? Oh, the basement door's locked. I wonder if the key's somewhere around the house. Well, I'd like to think so. You don't know where the key is? Wait, so <laughs> you bought the place, but you don't have access to it. Oh, man. Okay, well, let's hope we find that key. All right. And again, this room is locked for some reason. Again, I wonder if the key's somewhere around the house. Boy, oh boy. Didn't plan this out very well, did I? And this is the office, is it? Okay. Can we? Okay. We can open cupboards and stuff by the looks of it. Alright. Anything around here? We've got some drawers. Any keys? No keys? No keys. What about in here? No. No keys. No tapes. Hmm. Alright. Well, there you go. That's the downstairs. That's the ground floor. Let's try upstairs. Yeah. Up here. Honestly, seems like a nice place. And you know what? The windows are still here. <laughs> All right, so, um, upstairs. So there's the guest bedroom and bathroom and then the, the hallway on the west side. The master bedroom, master bathroom on the east side. We're in the hallway now with storage. Okay. All right. I'm looking for tapes, I'm looking for keys. Let's see. Nothing, no. Doesn't seem like it, does it? So around here in the, the guest area. Alright. 
it's probably quite an old place, right? It just creaks from time to time, right? <laughs> That's what I'm going to keep telling myself. Okay. Something down here, maybe? No. Still no luck. Hmm. So this will be the guest bathroom. Okay. Different color scheme. But still an interactive toilet. Can we flush? Oh, I don't think we can. Never mind. Anything in here? No. All right. And then, of course, there's the master bedroom and the master bathroom. Through here, right? Okay. Nice size. Here we are, then. All right. Oh, plenty of cupboards. Plenty of drawers. There's got to be something in here, right? Another tape, another key? No. Oh, hold on. Let me just close these. Okay, no one's hiding in there. That's good. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, here we are. Right. Anything? Hmm. Okay, I'm really holding out hope that we're going to find some keys here. No? Okay, there's two more drawers for me to try, I think. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, well, we don't have access to two of the rooms. Did I pack a sledgehammer? I <laughs> we got to get in there somehow. Right, okay. Well... We've had a little look around. I think what we should do is start unpacking these boxes. So, let's see. This is going to be the master bedroom, guest bedroom, living room. Okay, so grab. All right. And let's just put it inside. I mean, this is the living room, right? So let's put that down here. Okay. Let's see. Ah, okay, so I scribbled down on the map that the box is in the right room. Okay, I guess there's going to be a box per room, right? Okay, master bedroom. There we go. There we are. The upstairs guest bathroom. All right, here we are, the downstairs office. All right, only a few more boxes to go now. Upstairs master bathroom. There you go. Oh. Oh, we have a visitor. All right. Hello. Why this music? Why this underlying music? It sounds ominous. Hi. Who are you? Hello there. You must be our new neighbor. Uh, well, I, I suppose I am. Yeah. Do you live nearby? I do. Yes. A couple of kilometers that way. She points to her right hand side. My husband and I. Uh, I, I live there. Welcome, welcome. Mariana's a wonderful town. Lovely people. Okay. Can you tell me about it? Well, Mariana's a quiet little town, but it's full of beauty. Oh, yes. Make sure you visit the uh, Aracarius Park when you have a chance. Beautiful trees there. I see. Also, people here are known for their friendliness. That being said, I hope you understand that we take pride in our traditions. Please, don't embarrass us with your differences. <laughs> okay. You look familiar. Do I know you? Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe? It's what they say, small world and all. In any case, we know each other now, don't we? Right. Uh, so, can I help you with anything? Well, I couldn't help but notice that the house had been purchased and that the new owner would be here today. So I baked you something special as a welcoming gift. Oh. Oh, that's very kind of you. You didn't have to. I think you're going to love it. I left it on your kitchen counter. Did you? You... You got inside the house? Oh, don't worry, my dear. I know this house inside and out. You know this house? This house has a lot of history. It's a very unique one. In a way, I think you know it too. Every corner and every shadow seems familiar to you, doesn't it? In any case, you'll get familiar with it soon enough. All right, then. Now, do me a favor, my dear, and try some of that pastry I made for you, will you? I'm sure you'll love it. Okay, just please, stay here this time, all right? She nods and smiles. Weird. Right. Yeah, stay there. The kitchen, yeah? Did she get in through the back while I was unpacking the boxes? 
Oh, that wasn't there before. A plate of grostoli made by the neighbour. I'm not sure if I should eat this, but the smell is irresistible. Okay, just one bite. Okay, there you go. I feel like I should go and check on her, just to see if she's uh, disappeared. Maybe she's lurking around the house. Oh, fucking hell, she's gone. She hasn't stolen any of the boxes, right? Huh. Oh, hang on. There's something down here. Oh, it's a note. It just says, Welcome home. I assume it came from that lady, but... Where did she go? I don't know. Right, okay. I feel like we need to recheck the house. Hold on. As I unloaded the boxes into my new house, I couldn't help but be reminded of the toll the trip to Mariana had taken on me. That, combined with this odd encounter with the neighbour, made me realise I was exhausted. I decided it will be wise to take a quick nap in the master bedroom. Besides, I was curious to test the comfort of my new bed. Hmm. Okay. Well, if we're going to do that, we've got to close the door. Can we lock the door? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. She probably just went back, right? She probably just went back home. Yeah. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Okay. Right, so up to the master bedroom, I suppose. Let's see. She's not in there? No? Okay. Not hiding in the cupboard? Alright, let's see then. I'm not sure I'll get used to this bed, but it will have to do for now. Okay. So no covers, no duvet, no pillows. Well, yeah, it's probably going to be quite uncomfortable. As I was fading, I was actually expecting to, uh, to see her come into the room or something. This time, I didn't dream about this house. Oh, there you go. Well, why would you? You're here now. The house got exactly what it wanted. Probably because I was finally here. Yeah. I think moving here was a mistake. <laughs> a terrible, terrible mistake. No. This time, I had a different dream. A different dream? Go on. Oh, okay. What? Oh, hello. Okay, this is it's my, it's my wife. My wife and I were in a hurry to the hospital. She was clearly in a lot of pain as we drive through this blood mist. Uh, let's talk. I find myself in my car, quickly driving my wife to the hospital since her water had just broken. Right, honey, are you going to be okay? Yes, just avoid any bumpy roads, please. Have you called your mother? Uh, no, I forgot. Can you call her once we get there, please? Yes, of course. Thank you, and please remember the highway's blocked. Now, please, hurry. I will. Hold on tight. Right. Barely see where I'm going. Oh, she's fucking hell. What the hell? Where are the streetlights? Oh my god, what's going on? Jessica? What's all this? Is this meant to be water or something? What? Right. Oh boy. How do I get out of this? This is a horrible nightmare. I can't leave. <laughs> oh boy. It's dripping water in the background, right? Oh. Am I waking up? Let's hope so. So, did something happen when I was driving her to the hospital? Is that when this accident occurred? Right. God, what a horrible nightmare. That dripping noise. I heard it while I was asleep. Where's it coming from? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, I don't think it's here. No. Maybe the, uh, the guest bathroom? No. No, it's... It's not that way. It... Downstairs? Hmm. 
No. no. I think it's coming from over here. Oh. Right. Who unlocked this? My neighbour? Right. Is that another tape? Yeah. The accident. I could take this to a VHS player and play it. I might do that. Alright. Right, this is what I'm hearing. Oh, great. There's a leak in the ceiling. I guess that's what I get for buying an old house. Hmm. I get a weird feeling about this, though. I can't quite explain it. Maybe it's the constant noise. Maybe it's the water itself. I don't know. I just can't shake this odd feeling I have when thinking about it. But I'll see to it tomorrow. I just can't be bothered right now. Gotta go back to bed. Right. Okay. Well, let's hope it doesn't get much worse. Huh. Okay. So I can't take this? <sighs> Alright. Well, hopefully it's there when I wake up again, I guess. We're just going back to bed. Where's that coming from, though, exactly? I guess there must be a burst pipe, like, underneath there. Maybe it's coming from... Right, it might be coming from the, uh, the master bathroom. Let's see. Yeah, maybe somewhere under here. It's just going all the way down. Hmm. Okay, so we're just... We're going back to bed? We're going back to bed. That's right. Me and Inspect are bedfellows now. <laughs> Alright. This game's very curious, yeah. I like it so far, though. I really do. Okay, we're getting creaks again. Did that wake me up? Hmm. Still hear the dripping as well. That's not going to stop by itself. Right. Well, let's see. Oh! Hold on. Oh, it's from Dad this time. Good morning, son. Your mum told me you arrived in Mariana yesterday. How's it going? Hey, Dad. Well, you know. Hmm. Right, let's see. Oh, that was a quick reply. I know. I'm sorry. And how's the new house? Is it all you were hoping for? It's okay. I was bringing the boxes inside yesterday and got tired. I'll get back to doing that right now. Right. Right, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> uh, the truck is still outside, I assume? It's still open? Wait, is this the same note? Yeah, welcome home. Right. Well, it's kind of remarkable no one came by and stole it. We got any boxes missing? Uh, I think it's the four that I missed last time. Right, upstairs storage, upstairs main hallway, downstairs bathroom, and the kitchen. Let's do the kitchen one next. Right. Yeah, eerie. Very eerie. Actually, when I put this box down, I'm going to go back down to the basement. I'm going to see if I can maybe grab that tape and have a little look. Okay. Wait, what? There's another one. There's another one. What's this? This is three. Rumble. Right, okay. Well, we're gonna have to watch them in order. Or at least, I'm gonna have to, uh, describe them in order. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Ooh, yeah, that's... That's getting pretty bad, isn't it? It seems to have gotten a bit worse overnight. I'll definitely have to call someone to see this later. Man, this constant noise will make me go insane. Hmm. Right. Let's grab this. Let's have a little look. Okay. Here we are. In it goes. So, the tape shows that man, who I assume was the previous owner of this house, working in the basement with the camera sitting on a counter and pointing at him. He seems to be alone in the house, although I can just about hear his children playing in the backyard. The tape is slightly damaged, but I can make out most of what's happening. For a few seconds, he just stays there in silence, as if anxiously rehearsing his first words to the camera. When he finally starts speaking, I'm suddenly caught by a sense of uneasiness, and I shiver slightly. The man also seems uneasy and disturbed. His words, measured and hesitant, give off a sense that he's trying to describe a feeling that he cannot fully comprehend, but that has taken over him. 
He speaks of a sense of impending disaster, of a terrible event that he thinks is about to occur to his family. He's less and less coherent until he's taken by his own emotions and accidentally drops the tool he was using on the ground. He starts crying, carefully covering his mouth so that no one notices him. He mentions the terrible event will be his fault. Watching him, I can't help but feel that his words are directed at me somehow. It's as if he knows that I'm here watching this and is trying to communicate with me. The way he talks about the events is as if they had already happened. But then why is he doing this? Why isn't he doing anything to prevent it from happening? And what's the point of these tapes? Hmm. Right. So, that was one. And two. Three has been placed in the kitchen. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's mum again. Everything good? Yeah, all good. Found this weird VHS tape. I think it's from the old owners of the house. Right. So, this is Rumble. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Am I meant to be seeing this twice? Am I going insane too? Maybe. Yeah, okay, so we're just going through the same kind of thing again. Right, so, three. Rumble. Let's see. I'll get to that text later. I have a feeling I know exactly what's written. As the tape starts playing, the scene before me is disorientating and extremely unsettling. The man from the previous tapes stands in a place impossible to identify. He appears to hover in darkness, surrounded by countless long red streaks that stretch as far as the eye can see, like veins that mysteriously emerge from above and, just as inexplicably, disappear beneath him. Oddly enough, I can feel them pulsating beyond the TV screen and onto my chest, suffocating me with the same feelings the man appears to be experiencing. In that crushing darkness, I inexplicably feel the man's despair, guilt, and regret. Yet, I cannot bring myself to stop the tape, and I keep watching it. The camera shakes and glitches, and at times seems to be a part of the man's body somehow. His demeanor terrifies me. His words are fragmented, barely forming coherent sentences. In the brief moments that I can see his face, there's a deep ache in his eyes, as if he carries an overwhelming burden upon his shoulders. He stammers feelings of regret and calls for his family, but he's all alone in that place. I feel like his family is no longer reachable, and he blames himself for it. It's a haunting sight, and I can feel his pain seeping through the screen, echoing within my own being, as if we somehow shared consciousness. In the midst of his own turmoil, his mouth opens wide ready to unleash his agonies. But before he can do so, the tape abruptly ends. I feel broken by the intensity of what I've just witnessed and almost feel ashamed to look at my own reflection on the screen. And yet, I still feel like this was needed somehow. Right. I think he's going to be very much like me. Maybe watching these tapes is going to be my therapy. Oh, all right, here we go. We just keep going through the same shit. This is weird. This is weird. Okay, right. So let's just go back to the boxes, shall we? Uh-huh. There we go. So we've got upstairs main hallway this time. So I guess I'll just put this on the landing? Keep looking around for that neighbor of mine. Hmm. Is that going to be a new text or an old text? I wonder... Right, so let's just put this down here. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did that door just move or change color or something? It... Hmm. Okay. Maybe. Maybe I am going crazy. I... <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, it looks like we've got two more boxes. Let's go for this one next. The downstairs bathroom. Okay. <sighs> yeah, alright. You know, there's something that I should check, actually. If the basement's unlocked for some reason, maybe, maybe that other room is unlocked as well. This one? Nah, it's still locked. Okay, alright. Fair enough, fair enough. I thought it might be worth checking. 
I feel like there's going to be differences in the house that I'm only going to notice during editing. I think things are changing, and it's quite subtle. Right, okay, let's see. Upstairs storage. That's the final box. I still find it quite remarkable that nothing was stolen. <laughs> well, I guess we'll see. Maybe all the boxes are empty. Look at how far away I'm holding this. It must be pretty light. So storage is over there, right? Okay. Done. I, oh. As I was bringing in the boxes, I couldn't help but repeatedly ask myself what I was actually doing here. I acted on impulse when I bought this house, but the vivid and recurrent dreams I had after the accident plagued my mind and kept haunting me until I finally gave in. It's like I didn't have a choice. Maybe it's the desperation to start fresh or the need to escape the memories of that dreadful night, but here I was, in this unfamiliar place, with no one but myself. For a moment I questioned my sanity, so I took a deep breath, letting the musty smell of the old house fill my lungs, and with a sense of determination I whispered to myself, I'm here now, and I have to make the most of it. Still, I felt like I needed to turn this into my new home, so I set out to unpack all the boxes and decorate the place. Right. Okay. It's not enough just to bring the boxes in, right? Oh, okay. Right, here we are. So, open. Hey, look at that. Okay. Got various things here. Cleaning products. All right. We'll put them there. There you go. Got a toolbox. That can go there. An iron. Sure. Uh, that can just get put on the shelf, I suppose. A bucket. That can go in the corner. Vacuum cleaner. That can go over there, I guess. There we are. That's it. That's it. Okay. Cool. Uh, what should we do next? Maybe this one? Yeah. A photo album. Right. Picture frame. Sculpture. Oh, the sculpture. The sculpture has to sit here, surely. There we are. We can put the photo album um, on the floor <laughs> where it's meant to go. The picture frame. That can go there. Another picture frame. Oh, we can twist these things around, actually. There you go. That's teetering. That's going to fall off the edge. Yeah. An encyclopedia set? Oh, I suppose there is this shelf over here, right? There you go. What else have we got? <laughs> I don't want to cram it all into one corner. Another picture frame. Or do I? Can I? No, I don't think so. Um, but this can go on the floor, too. There you go. And that's it. All right. I'm just very paranoid playing this game. Let's just close the door there. Right, so let's decorate the living room. Radio, okay. Uh, yeah, sure, let's put that about there. Okay, a vase. Oh, well, that's not going to fit, is it? Wow, this is a big one. Um, yeah, let's just put this down here in the corner. There you go. A fan. Hmm. I'll put that next to the TV, maybe, or... I don't know, maybe again on the floor. There you go. Cushion, right? I... Yeah. I do like the way this game is building its tension, its atmosphere. Yeah, it, it, things are just a little bit off, aren't they? These odd noises, these odd neighbours. The leak, the tapes. Yeah. I'm curious as to where this is going to go. Right. It, oh. Okay, let's put that there. There you go. Oh, okay, finally a new text from my brother-in-law. Hey, man, how you doing? Hey. A bit overwhelmed, honestly. Okay, another vase. Again, a little bit too big. I'll just put that there. Wall clock. I can go there. There you are. Books. Over here, maybe? Bloody hell, I missed a popular today, aren't I? Yeah, same here, he says. She was an incredible person. My sister loved you, man. I know. And she hated your guts. <laughs> well, at least I'm joking around about it. A DVD player. Right, well that can go... I can go next to the VCR, I suppose. About there. A little bit skew, but it'll do. 
Okay, cool. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, he says. I know. But seriously, it wasn't your fault, man. Remember that. Right. I say that, but I don't know if I believe it. You know? Right. Should I eat more of these? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten that first bite. Let's open this up. Oh, a blender. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put that there. Take care. And it seems I can't reply. Okay. Well, I'm busy. I'm busy unpacking boxes. The toaster can go there. The kettle can go here. <laughs> the, wow, okay. Holy moly. Uh, well, this kind of has to go here, right? It's the only place where it fits. A pineapple plastic jar. I love it. Right, put it there. There you go. Wall calendar. All right. Hang on, was that the doorbell? Is that my neighbor again? What? The hell was that? Wait, whoa. Whoa, hang on, hang on, what's going on? What's that? What? Okay, something's... something's definitely wrong here. Listen to the static? The TV turned itself on and I can just about make out a sound over the static. Come closer. Is that someone crying? Oh shit. Right, turn that off, turn that off. Close the fucking door, right. Where did that come from? Someone's inside. Oh. Someone opened the door. Right. What? Was there another box? I'm certain I didn't bring this box with me. I have no idea how it got here. Oh, baby clothes, maternity photo album. Ooh, uh, right. I suppose I should unpack, shouldn't I? Oh, this seems like a very, very cruel joke at this point. Paintings? Okay. We're just going to decorate this wall here. One final one here. Is that it? That's it. Weird. Very weird. I keep hearing creaks as well. Upstairs, maybe? It sounds like it's coming from the storage room, honestly. What the hell was that? Some black orb? That is so loud. Right. Okay, let's just start unpacking this box. Bedding. Right, okay. Um, let's put the bedding there. Oh, hold on, hold on. Insurance prick. This is Franco from your auto insurance. I must inform you that your car has been declared a total loss. Hello. Alright. What now? So that was a car accident. Yeah, okay. A pillow? Yeah. Gonna need one of them. Radio clock? Okay. Let's put that there. Here he is again. We're currently investigating the details of the accident to determine the liability of the parties involved. Alright. Let me know when you have an update. Hmm. The lampshade. I can go over there, I suppose. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Not much in that box at all. There's so many creaks now. By the way, sorry for your loss. was that? What was that noise? I think it came from the basement. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm really, really riled up here. What 
is going on here? Alright. Oh, what the? What's this? There's some sort of mass. Oh god, what's happening here? This is terrible. This leak's quickly deteriorating. The ceiling. I feel like I have to do something, or it'll collapse soon. But... I can barely look at this thing. It's making me lightheaded and nauseous. It's frustrating, though. I know I need to take care of it, but I feel so repulsed that all I can do is ignore it. God, I hate looking at it. Right. O okay, alright. We're just gonna leave this alone, I think. Yeah, we'll just close that up. Man. Okay. Um... Let's see. Let's let's start unpacking this. Yeah. Oh my god. Could you please just leave me alone? <laughs> 911863. There's nothing there. Who's this? Huh. Medicine? Right, hold on. Uh guess I could put that there. There is a cabinet for it though. Uh right. I don't know, maybe you should take more pills or less pills, I'm not sure. Can we put this inside? No? Oh, it seems like we can't, never mind, it's just for show. The trash bin, I can go there. <laughs> I'm not really bothered at this point. Toothbrush holder. Uh, oh, I think I did get a bit of green there, there we are, there you go. A towel rack. Um, sure, let's put it here. <laughs> and a bath mat. Uh, I'm going to put it like a doormat, the wrong way. Lotion flask. Okay, that just about fits in there. There you go. Good stuff. Still no reply. The house will just not stop, will it? Right. What about my office round here? Let's go check the office. Yeah. Okay, let's see. The computer! Alright, the computer's gonna have to go here, surely. There you go. Telephone? Yep. Enjoy. A phone book? I'll put that over there. And a CD rack. Right. I feel like I should maybe put this somewhere else, but uh, there you go. Is that it? That's it, okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. I need to finish off the kitchen, don't I? Forget about the fucking windows. The windows are here, but the door's fucking gone. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. I'm trapped. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, maybe I can remedy this by unpacking the rest of the kitchen stuff. The fruit bowl. The fruit bowl obviously has to go here. There you go. Glass bowls. I'm going to put them there. The mug set. Right. I feel like a mug right now after buying this house. Okay. Yeah. This is, uh... This is pretty fucked up. <laughs> Didn't there used to be a window there and... Here? Right. Things? Yeah. Windows are disappearing, like the doors. Right, this one. I haven't even started this one. The bath mat. Maybe let's put this down here like it should be. The laundry basket, that can go maybe down here. Toothbrush holder, okay. There you are. The trash bin. I can put that in the corner maybe. That'll do. Perfume, sure. Hmm. Maybe my wife's. Okay, there you go. It just about fits there. And that's it. Still no response from this. Who is this? Hmm. What? What is that? That's a new noise. Wow. 
Where's that coming from? Is it downstairs? Oh, that window's gone now. It actually kind of sounds like someone knocking against the window, though. Well, there's a window. Might be the only one. Doors don't close by themselves. Not in this game. That's getting even worse, I think. Right. Oh, shit. Oh, what the... Something locked the door. What? What are you? Whoa, okay. It's just a dark sphere. I... I can't get away. I... I cannot get away. What the fuck? Am I in... Am I inside it? I... Am I still dreaming? Whoa. Oh, you know, this is... This is kind of familiar. Is there someone there? Oh. Oh boy. They're getting closer. They're getting closer. Yeah, this resembles what I read about on the tape, right? Oh shit! What the fuck? Right. Who are you? Are you the man? Uh, no. Are you- are you my wife? Hi. You want a hug? Oh dear. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> wow. Okay, the door's the door the door's still locked, but I'm I'm back. I'm back. Am I back? What the fuck? Okay, hang on, hang on. Mom writes, it was your fault. What? What the fuck? Everything's upside down and the doors and the windows, they're still not back. Such a disappointment. Why are you saying this? Right, let's go check the back door. No, that's... that's gone too. Bloody hell. Right. Upstairs? Wait. What? Uh, we're, we're missing some of the stairs. What? Okay. Uh, this way? Let's check the office. If I even have an office. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, this is getting good. This is getting really, really good. It was a bit of a slow burn to begin with, but man. It's really ratcheted up now. What? We're back in the basement. What? It, is it this thing making that noise? I can't fathom what I'm seeing. There's an extremely repulsive slime foaming from the leak in the ceiling. It gives off a horrible stench that makes me nauseous, lightheaded, and disoriented. It looks alive. Right. Let's, uh, let's step away. Up here. I... Oh shit! There's someone... There's someone on the wall, someone on the ceiling there! Is that my wife? Oh shit! Shit! <laughs> oh my, okay. Right, come on, come on! Okay. We still can't go upstairs. Missing room. Right around here. Oh man. Things are just getting removed. You know, this is actually reminding me of Anatomy by Kitty Horror Show. Oh, it's you again. What's this? Oh, the TV's still there. Four. Birth. Right. Am I going to be able to watch this? Here we are. As the tape starts playing, I find myself instantly immersed in a nightmarish, distorted reflection of the man's tortured psyche. The scene is a collection of fragmented images, disjointed sounds and memories, 
and deeply unsettling feelings somehow merged and played all at once. It's an incoherent mess. I can barely make out what I'm seeing. It frightens me to my core, and at the same time, it's sort of beautiful and makes sense to me. Well, it would make sense to you, wouldn't it? The man's face and body are completely distorted, beyond recognition. If I ever knew who he was before, I can no longer, and never will again. But at this moment, I feel an overwhelming surge of empathy for him, as if his pain reverberated within my own body. The tape becomes a conduit for his suffering, a mirror reflecting my own battle along with his. The fragments of his voice, reaching my ears like shards of broken glass, speak of a foreshadowed catastrophe that shattered his world, just like mine. In the midst of the chaos, there's a moment of eerie stillness. The man's eyes meet mine through the flickering and glitchy screen, a fleeting recognition that sends a chill down my spine. He's now fully aware of my presence, and his torment reaches beyond the confines of the tape. And then, in a crescendo of madness and despair, the tape abruptly cuts off. The abrupt ending leaves me gasping for breath, my heart pounding in my chest. The darkness lingers, echoing with unanswered questions and haunting whispers. It's haunting and inviting all at once. I'm left grappling with the fragments of his shattered existence, piecing together the shards of his unraveling mind. That man is gone forever now. The tape has become a portal into the darkest recesses of our consciousness, forcing us to confront the demons that lurk within. Ooh, right. And that was that. Do you want to come down? you want to talk? No? Okay, alright. How are you doing that? That's impressive. Christ. Okay, so we're not going up. We uh, can't go that way. Around here? Is there going to be another tape? That might be it. I don't know. What the hell? Okay. Uh, the house has had an expansion of sorts. This way? I... Fucking hell. I can't tell if it's a creek or if someone's running around or a little bit of both. The house itself feels alive again. It's a lot like Anatomy by Kitty Horror Show. These paintings seem to have been painted by Jessica, but I've never seen them before. Around here? Right, another one? Yeah. What is that that I'm hearing? The audio is really, really good here. The basement again? Oh god, the basement again. It's... It's grown. And again, I can't fathom what I'm seeing. Yeah, it, it looks alive. Right. This way. It's that that I'm hearing, isn't it? Oh man. This is great. This is actually brilliant. Yes, we're not going that way. Are we going upstairs? No, we're not. No, we can't. We can't. Ooh. Hold on. What we got here? Not what have we got here? Who have we got here? Jessica? Or is that my neighbor? No. Jessica? What the hell are you doing here? She seems to be distracted by something right in front of her. Honey? Did you see the latest paintings I made? Each took an eternity to finish, but I think they turned out perfect. Uh, I, I did. I, why, why did you make them? I don't really know. I just had to. I felt... I was thinking of you and our baby Laura, you know? That's why they look so wonderful. Jessica. Do you remember that question I used to ask you? What does God look like? But, yes. What does God look like? <laughs> it's funny that you were never religious, but you've always tried to help me understand why we could never truly see him. And I really appreciate that, you know? Oh boy, right. I'm so sorry for what happened. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. But I see him now. I see him, and he's beautiful. Do you see him too? Uh, no. I'm sorry, but I don't. Ah, pity. I wish you could see him too. So powerful, and astounding, and devastating. I feel like tearing my face off, but in the most wonderful way. 
I, I, I've been trying to forgive myself. I don't know if I can let you go. That's what this game is all about, right? That's what this is all culminating to. I don't know if I can forgive myself. I don't know if I can let her and my unborn baby go. I have been trying to forgive myself. Oh, don't worry about me anymore. We have our baby to care for now, silly. Do you hear that? She's crying, the poor thing. I should go and check on our little girl. She's probably hungry. Right. So is that it? Right, she's probably hungry. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave you alone, I think. So if she's here, where's the baby? Where's Laura? Is it, is it that mass in the basement? I think it's got to be, hasn't it? There's nothing there. And we can't go upstairs. Right, okay. So this is Laura. It, oh god. Hello again. Look at you, honey. See? I told your father. You're hungry, aren't you? Don't worry, Laura. Mummy will feed you. Oh, hello, darling. You've been away for a while. We've barely seen you recently, come to think of it. Where have you been? Don't you miss us? It's so lonely and empty here, and Laura doesn't stop crying for her dad. Of course I miss you. Oh, fucking hell, right, yeah. Honey, I... I think it's time I let you go. No, no. You know what? I have a better idea. Why don't you join us? Oh, Laura misses you so much, and she's so hungry all the time. I really want to satiate her hunger. I can't see her suffering like this. I'll join you or I can't join you. I'm so sorry. No, I I can't join you. I see. Oh, she's so hungry. Look at her. I'll go ahead and feed her now then. Pity you can't join us. She really needs her daddy. Right. Okay. But Jessica, what the f Oh, God! Oh, it Okay. Right. You know what? I, I think I chose correctly. Okay, let's go this way. Now this is locked too. Let family go? Right. I probably should, shouldn't I? Or I could join my family. I want to do both. And honestly, maybe I can. Yeah, if I have to play through the game again, I will. I think... I think for now what I want to do is, is let my family go. I think that's the healthy option. Okay. Was the door unlocked? Did I get out? What? <laughs> what happened? Okay. Ah. Maybe that was all just me sleepwalking or something. The leak seems to have stopped. I wonder why. <laughs> Is it because I've moved on? Right. Okay, that's working. There's no door there anymore. There's a window. Okay, this is all good. This is all very good. Alright. I feel like I should just recheck the house, you know? Yeah, what about this? I feel like this door should remain locked. Right. Maybe I made a bit of a mistake unpacking all those things there. Right. Okay. Strange. Very, very strange. Let's go upstairs. Can we go upstairs? Oh, we can! Fantastic! We actually have this last little bit of the stairs. The storage room. Alright, yeah, it's pretty much as I left it, as I unpacked it. We haven't got any guests staying with us, have we? Mm, not in the bathroom, the bedroom. <laughs> Alright. Let's check the bedroom. Shall I? No, I, I I can't even continue unpacking. I think I'm I'm past that point, you know. 
think I'm done with that. We've got the front door back. What about what about the back door? Yeah, that's still here too. But it's locked. Hmm. All right. Everything is as it should be, I think. Leave the house. I don't need to be here anymore, do I? So, ever since the accident... I've been decorating horribly. <laughs> Guilt has haunted me. Right. So I built a labyrinth. That's what the house was, was it? A labyrinth? A labyrinth all for you? I built a labyrinth and found my way out. That's the main thing. We found our way out. That was the windows are gone. And I thought that was fantastic. It was a little bit experimental, a little bit of a slow burn, but the tension, the atmosphere, it was pretty much perfect. Some of it, honestly, was sublime, superb. Maybe I've got a couple of little nitpicks here and there, but really, really enjoyed it. Now, of course, what I want to do is go and get the other ending. I found none of the secrets. Right, okay, well, there you go. Let's see if I can go through and find all those secrets in my second playthrough, and then, I'll join my family. Alright, so once again, in goes Jessica to feed my baby Laura. Yes. So again, we are presented with a choice. I can join my family or I can let my family go. I think that was probably the good ending. This is probably going to be the bad ending, but I'm curious. What's going to happen if I join my family? If I feed myself to my unborn child? Oh boy. Just going in head first, eh? Enjoy! Ooh. Am I going to get to see what's inside? Oh. Alright, here we go. So, this time, ever since the accident... Guilt has haunted me. Uh, this time around, we're not seeing the normal house, are we? Yeah. We remain. I built a labyrinth, but this time I didn't escape. This time I didn't find my way out, did I? Where I allowed myself to be lost. Yeah. And that was the second ending, the bad ending to The Windows Are Gone. It's a bit of a shame it wasn't drastically different. I was actually hoping that we were going to get maybe another little bit to play as we fed ourselves to our unborn daughter. But no. Yeah, it seems like I got the good ending the first time around. That was the, the right thing to do. Try and let my family go. I can't, I can't just reside in this guilt. Again, though, I didn't find any of these secrets, and this time around I did have a good look around. I looked around the back garden, I tried to find more tapes, I don't really know what secrets I'm meant to find, but um, nevertheless, I really enjoyed the game and I hope you did as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you back in another video very soon. See you then.
Seems like a nice place. I'm sure it's not going to be, though. What's in it? <laughs> I was expect. Hello? <laughs> Anyone here? I wonder if the key's somewhere around the house. Well, I'd like to think so. You don't know where the key is? Wait, so <laughs> you bought the place, but you don't have access to it. Honestly, seems like a nice place. And you know what? The windows are still here. <laughs> All right. It's probably quite an old place, right? It just creaks from time to time, right? <laughs> That's what I'm going to keep telling myself. I think you're going to love it. I left it on your kitchen counter. Did you? I feel like I should go and check on her just to see if she's uh, disappeared. Maybe she's lurking around the house. Oh, fucking hell, she's gone. Right. Barely see where I'm going. Oh, she's fucking hell. Am I meant to be seeing this twice? Am I going insane too? Maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Sorry for your loss. What the fuck was that? What? Forget about the fucking windows. The windows are here, but the door's fucking gone. Upstairs? Wait. What? Uh, we're, we're missing some of the stairs. <laughs> Fucking hell. There's someone on the wall, someone on the ceiling there. Is that my wife? Oh, shit, shit. I... Fucking hell. I can't tell if it's a creak or if someone's running around or a little bit of both. I feel like tearing my face off, but in the most wonderful way. <laughs> Jessica, what the... F oh, God. 